Preparations for this year's Edel Fitter has been greatly impacted by the present cost of living in Kaduna, as residents are decrying the persistent increase in prices of commodities in markets across the state. A cross-section of residents who speak with Trust TV say they are paying for commodities as exorbitant prices as compared to other years. Trust TV's Bello Musa has more. This is the popular Kaswara Brochi market located in the Kaduna metropolis. The large crowd of last-minute shoppers say the economic situation is affecting not only them, but the traders as well. Things are really costly now. What should originally cost you 300 naira is now 600 naira, and in some places, 1,000 naira. But we thank God all the same. We need, we need help. We want price of commodities and clothes to go down so we can buy it for our children. Salah has come, but we can't afford foodstuffs for our children. If children see others with new clothes and they don't have, there won't be peace at home. So whether we have the money or not, we must go and look for it and buy. Things that we once bought at 300 naira now sell for 700 naira. Our profit is not even guaranteed in some instances. So we are just managing the situation because it is better than sitting at home. Even though Salah is here, people will not buy things like before due to the high cost of commodities. This is an area for second-hand clothes sellers, popularly known as Gonjo in northern Nigeria. Though they declined speaking on camera, they however acknowledge that even when patronage is low, most people prefer buying from them because new clothes are expensive. Uh, people that cannot buy new ones buy these ones. Even when the price is way lower than new ones, you still find them appealing for further reduction in price. We are just managing because the profit is nothing to write home about. The demands for tailoring service used to be high during festivities like Salah, but fashion designers say patronage is low this year. In this Salah, we don't, as you can see, before all the machines, we have about seven machines, only two machines that is working. But it be, it, it's like before, it, as now, Salah is around the corner about four to three days. You can see all the machines is working. But now, you can see it's only few. So that is, uh, that is the economic uh, uh, challenges that we have. So it even affecting us, honestly. Besides low patronage, epileptic power supply is another challenge affecting them. Fuel. We are, we, are, we are buying fuel before 200 naira per liter or 210 naira per liter. But now it's about 700 per liter. That before before uh, uh, each liter, each, each liter, it used to take us one hour. But now, the 700 naira that we are buying the fuel now is going to, we are, we, it's doubling. It's tripling, not doubling, safe. it's tripling, even tripling and a half. They are calling on the government to ease the hardship faced by Nigerians due to economic policies of present administration. Bella Musa, Trust TV News Kaduna.